What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we made our way to Moss Deep City. You know, battled a few trainers off sea. I really thought it was going to be a little longer, but you know, we made it. We finally made it. Now, we're going to be doing two things right here. Taking a nice look of uh, Moss Deep City in whatever time we have. Uh, maybe we're going to do some kind of, like, other sea battling. I don't know. We'll see. So here it is, Moss Deep City, guys. Another island. Our slogan, Cherish Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, this place is, like, a nice place to actually, you know, uh, fish, you know, taking the sights. There's a rocket here somewhere. Around Moss Deep, you can see Wild Whalmer. It's called, uh, what was it now? Wait, wait, wait. Whalmer Watching. It is. It's Whalmer Watching. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't even know. There's a few houses here. You can buy a few items here and there. Now, if you talk to some of the people. Oh, yeah, and there's a Pokemon gym right there. Uh, you talk to this lady, he's like, this, uh, the Island Space Center has been launching huge rockets. There's been some kind of uproar over the, uh, a letter received, uh, re, re, oh wow, can't even say it right. Okay, let's go back and talk to you. The Island Space Center has been launching huge rockets. There's been some kind of an uproar over a letter they received recently. I wonder what that letter is. Huh, talk to this guy, and, sh and he's like, I heard from a sailor buddy that Team Aqua set up shop in Lily Cove. I also heard that someone came along and wiped the floor with them. But Moss Deep, there's uh, been uh, targeted, or they, or, but Moss Deep here's been targeted uh, by Team Magma. If you want to know what they're up to, go visit the Space Center. So we got a little bit of a lead of what, what's coming up next. And as you can see, this is a Pokemon gym, the Moss Deep City gym. Leaders Tate and Liza, the mystic combination. So it's not one gym leader, it's two. Uh, believe it or not, it's gonna be a little bit of a fun battle right here. Now, let's see. We're just gonna we're just gonna take a look at these uh, houses right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, "Hmm, your Breloom. It likes yellow Pokeblocks, doesn't it?" No, I'm positive of it. It definitely likes yellow Pokeblocks. Hmm. Okay, this guy has an eye for like Pokeblocks and all that fun stuff. My husband can tell what kind of Pokeblocks your Pokemon likes at a glance. Hmm. Okay, so this guy could be useful. Uh, eventually when we, I go, I, I guess do, what, Pokemon, whatever, those little contests, yes, the contests. Now, let's see, what kind of house is this? Huh, it's an empty house. Wonder what this could be right here. Hmm, look at this, it's a collection of rare rocks and stones assembled by Steven. Huh, so this is Steven's place. Oh, okay, alright, so where is Steven at? Where is that, uh, gray-haired bastard? I don't even know. Uh, let's see now. Talk to this kid. He's like, I got this from Steven, but I don't know what it, it's good for. I think it's called a King's Rock. Do you want it? Oh, yeah. Why won't, uh, why would you want it? You're weird. You can keep it, but it's, it, keep it a secret from Steven. <laughs> this kid doesn't know anything about evolutionary stones, especially held items. You are a loser. Now, go right here, and my little brother says he likes to go and find people's secret bases. Hmm. Talk to this guy. Was it you who made a secret base near Route 110? Huh. Let me see. Completely forgot. It's been a while, guys. I'm very, very sorry. Very, very sorry. So Route 110 would have to would happen to be right. Oh yeah. Near. Oh yeah. Near New Marvel. Yeah, that's mine. Wow. Creeper much, huh? Mm, I don't even know. Okay, so. Let's move on right here. There's a Pokemon. There's a Pokemart there. Uh, if you guys remember in the last two episodes, this guy doesn't really do much, but this guy right here actually teaches you Dynamic Punch. I actually taught that to my Swamp Lord. And uh, let's see, uh, go right here. And uh, huh? Oh yes, an online game. Let's see, what kind of online game is this? Oh, the Dodrio, <laughs> the Dodrio Berry Picking, and I'm assuming, yeah, the Pokemon Jump. So if you guys remember, in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, there is the Dodrio uh, Berry Picking and the, what was it called, uh, the Pokemon Jump. You can actually uh, put Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon Leaf Green together and play this game. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have, yeah, I don't have any kind of online stuff right here. Or, you know, another Pokemon trainer or fire. I, 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 you know, I haven't even done anything. So, yeah, we won't be doing that as much as I want to show it to you guys. And, uh, let's see, moving on right here. We're going to go and talk to this old guy. He's like, all life needs a sea to live, even though it makes makes it home, makes its home on the land. Life, having, its, uh, uh, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to the land. And the sea is always connected to the land. 
Yes, like that very short line here. Huh. You know, that actually makes very good sense. You know, you should probably talk to uh, talk to Team Aqua and Magma. You really should. And uh, let's see, we found ourselves a netball. Hmm. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. We found ourselves a netball, which could be used for, for any water or bug type Pokemon. Now, huh. Well, would you look at that? It's our old buddy Sky. He's like, Graven, feeling good. I'm doing great. I heard Moss Deep's gym leader is pretty strong, and I decided to come. Take a look, see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town. People are going about a, a warning letter in the Space Center. I don't think it concerns me in any way, though. Huh. Huh. Okay. Alrighty, so let's just move on right here. Let's just move on. This guy, he, he, he's, he's a little weird. Okay, so now if you talk to this girl, she's like, this rock has a special meaning to the people of, at the Space Center. They put it here as uh, their wish for their rockets fly safely. Hmm. When you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. Hmm. White stone. It's a white rock. Oh, okay. Cool. White rock. And uh, let's see. Let's see. What do you have to say? Wouldn't it be nice if the whole world was covered in plants and flowers like this island? Yes, it would. It would. It really would. And uh, let's see. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, a voyage on a ship is fine. But crossing the sea with a Pokemon sur using surf? Now that's an exhilarating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? Heck yes. I mean, I've done it plenty of times. Plenty of plenty of times. Alrighty, so... Oh, yeah, now, if you talk to this guy here, he's like, Hey there, trainer. A super rod is really super. Say all you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon off the sea floor. What do you think? You want it, don't you? Heck yes. Heck freaking yes. Alright, so he's gonna give us the super rod right here. So that completes all three of our, you know, little rod things. Now, that will actually... That will actually help us find some some rare Pokemon that we need, like Whalmer, Carvana. Uh, I think Chinchou is a part of that. I don't even know. Corsola is another Pokemon. Maybe in another game. I don't even know. Probably. Maybe. I don't even know. I'm I'm babbling around. So here we go. Moving on forward right here. And there's another house. And let's go ahead and talk. Let's, let's let's see what we got right here now. Oh, look at that. It's that Pico or something. My little sister exchanges mail with a with her boyfriend in Fortree. I don't ever hear one bit. Hmm. Even though I can't see my boy or my friend in Fortree, my Pokemon carries mail back and forth to us. I'm not lonesome, even though we're apart. Huh. So this must be the yeah. This is the Wingle that I've seen in Fortree. So he's going all the way back. Huh. He's going all the way back. Okay. So now for the big one. Um. Hmm. Pretty sure you could find a sunstone around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, look at that big old rocket! Holy crud! Big old rocket right here. I want to touch it. I really want to touch it. Okay, so we can't do anything right there. So let's go straight into the uh, the Mosty Space Center thing closest to, uh, to space right here. Now, would you look at that? Steven Stone is right there, and I was like, I was taking a stroll down the beach, and I found this. It's not anything I need, so you can have it. And yes, there it is, the Sunstone. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It is kind of funny because that man right there kind of likes it. The Hoenn region has become famous for its meteor showers for a long time. That's good. Talk to this guy right here. He's like, Draven, have you read the, the, the proclamation already? Team Magma is coming after the, the, the rocket fuel on this island. I don't know what they uh, need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep an eye out on things for a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go and check out the town? Okay. All right. I don't even know. Um, that's cool. Um, let's see. Um, I don't even think any of these people just want. Like, they, they, they'll give us items. But as you can see, this is another place where Team Magma has, uh, you know, targeted and all that fun junk. And let's see. I don't think there's anybody else in here that will give us anything pretty cool. Or, I don't know. Let's see. Moss Deep is mainly sunny weather, and its winds are stable. It's an ideal location for launching rockets. Huh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right here. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this area right here. So let's go back and, uh, hmm. You know what? I'm going to make the next episode uh, all about the northern area right there before we even, you know, battle anybody else. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned in the next episode. We will be going to, what, the Shoal Cave? Yes, the Shoal Cave is the next episode. So, see you guys.